In this video, I'm just going to give you a little bit of an introduction to the website that my students are going to be using when they're working on the gravity part of the Planets Lab. And for this, we're using the Exploratorium website. The link to this specific website is shown in Blackboard. So for this section, you've got a input button up here, or an input block, and you're going to type something. Now, as I say in the lab manual, for my students to get full credit, they need to enter a weight that's actually a reasonable college student weight. I'm going to use 12 pounds, which is not a reasonable weight, but that way you guys will have to put in your own numbers to do this. Now, the nice thing about this is that once I hit calculate, this does the math for you to convert from your weight on Earth to what you would weigh on different objects. Now it says the planets, but I'm going to point out right away that the moon is not a planet and Pluto is considered a dwarf planet now, but the other planets are the ones that we're going to be using. And you're actually going to fill in all of this because looking at the moon and Pluto, comparing it to the other planets is part of what we're looking at in this lab. So when I put in the 12 pounds for my weight on Earth, it will tell me that on Mercury, I would weigh 4.5 pounds because it's got a little bit less gravity. If I was on Jupiter, I'd be 30.3 pounds because the gravity's heavier on Jupiter. So you'll enter your weight here and then copy these values down into your lab manual and then use these to draw conclusions and be able to answer the rest of the question in the lab manual. Now just to show you that it really does change if I were to put in 14 pounds, it automatically changes all of these numbers. So you need to put in something that's a reasonable college student weight. And again, I don't know what your weight is, but if you tell me 14 pounds or 12 pounds, I know you're just following what I did and not putting in your own. If you put in 2,000 pounds, well, we might joke about weighing a ton, but we really don't. So you'll put a weight in here that's gonna work. If you're curious, in addition to our own moon, there are the moons of Jupiter, as well as a few of other different types of stars. And this is a joke about better land at night because stars are always bright and it's way too hot to be on any of these objects. And then down here at the bottom again is some extra information talking about weight and mass. In a lot of conversation, I meet a lot of people who think that these are the same thing. It's just one is metric unit and one is English unit but they are actually different. So mass has to do with how much material is in your body. Weight has to do with the gravitational effect on that mass. And so your mass would stay the same on all those different objects, but your weight would change depending on which object you're on. If you have any questions working through this website, please contact me. But again, the main thing you need to do is put in a reasonable weight in this top box, click Calculate, and then copy down these information into your lab manual.